value and men that come with that, right? And that's what we're chasing. So the first step is learning how to just mind over matter these urges you get, bro. Mind over matter that, bro. When you get a no fat urge, say, you know what? How can I master this? How can I transfer my energy into this to places where I need to go? Car talk, real talk. What up, YouTube? This is Matt Rockefeller. I hope you're having a great day wherever y'all are at. Check me out, boys. I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. I've been having a rough couple of weeks this far. A lot of shit has just not been going my way, and it's led to me being very frustrated, and it's just a lot caused a lot of anger, right? There has never been a better time for me to just say, you know, F it. I don't want to go to the gym. I don't want to go to work. I don't want to film a YouTube video, and there's this voice in my head that's saying, like, you've done enough. You can take a break. You deserve to take a break, and that voice is in all of us, and I like to call this voice the bitch, and point blank period, man, if you're watching this video, you have to to kill that bitch, that bitch inside you, because he's going to be what's responsible for why you never achieve your goals, for why you get no punani, and why you never make a dent into this universe, man. Let me tell you, bro, I do not want to film videos someday. I do not want to go work out. I don't want to go to work someday, bro. I really just want to say, fuck it. And I just want to, like, watch anime, do whatever I want, but I know... I can't do that because what I'm chasing, these tasks are essential to my success. And let me tell you, man, if you're on no fat, man, if you're on this journey of self-improvement, the ugly side of self-improvement is actually improving yourself and actually getting away from what got you to where you were in the past, right? You're going to have urges. You're going to have, you know, thoughts and feelings. It's going to be tough to overcome these urges. But let me tell you, man, when it's the hardest time to do it, that's when it's the most important time for you to do it, bro on God, on this journey of becoming a high value man, things take time. Things are a process and you got to let this process mold you and shape you the person you become. I don't think the answer is for you to say, you know, how can I like resist the no fat urges or how can I get less no fat urges? No, the answer you should be asking yourself is how can I master myself? How can I discipline myself to get past these no fat urges? That's the question you need to be asking because it all applies to life. A superior man, a high value man has his thoughts and emotions under control and he recognizes this with discipline because we're all about discipline on this side, right? Discipline comes in two pace. One, it's doing shit that you need to do regardless of if you feel like doing it. And two, it's having the discipline or control to master yourself so you don't jeopardize any of your progress, right? This is what happens when you're on no fat man. You'll get 10 days or 11 days and then, oh, you see an ass or, oh, you see this and you, uh, you don't have any self-control. You don't have any self-mastery. So that's why you relapse, man. You've got to understand that when you're on this, man, is that you are not going to feel like doing some shit someday. You are not going to want to get up. You are not going to want to just do anything anything at all and that's when it is the most important time for you to do it man do you get that because every time you do it what you're doing is you are building a new found level of respect for yourself the level of respect and integrity that you get after you really don't feel like doing something is astonishing man and that's the key secret to life man if anything is necessary to your success you do it now who cares about your feelings bro fuck your feelings so part of it man is it comes down to is that you have to kill that bitch inside of you man whenever it says oh i want to just let's just go let's just stay home and just watch netflix instead of go to the gym you have to seal team six his ass right every time and if you do this consistently enough you will start to see the real change and you'll just be so good at just having mind control over yourself, man, that like any urge or any thought of like, you know, weakness, you'll just kill it, bro. And you'll become a fucking machine, a warrior, a true superior man, bro, because that's what we're trying to do. That's what we're trying to be, man. See, if you allowed every thought and every urge to have its way, you would be so, you'd be fat, you'd be out of shape, you'd be at the bottom of a barrel lover, and you'd have no money because what it takes, man, is when you're on these no fat urges, you have to learn how to say goodbye to the short term highs. You have to say goodbye to these short term pleasures. See, anyone can just go on a fuck spree and fuck a lot of girls, right? Any, any guy on the planet could do that, right? Any guy can punch a dude in the face whenever he says something mad, right? Anyone can do that, but. Not too many people can stay focused on a goal for a long period of time. Not too many people can show constraint when they want to slack off and still hold themselves accountable, right? That takes time and practice and a lot of discipline. There's a lot of value in men that come with that, right? And that's what we're chasing. So the first step in becoming this high value man is learning how to just 
fucking mind over matter these urges you get, bro. Mind over matter that shit, bro. When you get a NoFap urge, say, you know what? How can I master this? How can I transfer my energy into this to places where I need to go? You need to have that mindset when it comes to that, bro. Because thinking like, oh, damn, like when is this ever going to end? It's setting you up for failure, bro, because you're thinking short term. Day one, day six, you're in a short term mindset. Where can I get the short term high? Who can I fuck right now? What can I smoke right now? It's all short term pleasure to get you off your grind. Stay focused on this shit, man. And listen, I'm ranting right now. Now, but a lot of y'all watch this channel. A lot of y'all are trying to improve yourself spiritually and mentally, and you want to get in tune with your spiritual side. Listen, man, that's all great. I'm happy that you're trying to get in spiritual touch, but sometimes, man, if you're watching this, sometimes you just got to get in touch with some basic motivation, bro. Like, look, I know if you're watching this, bro, you want to prove people wrong. You want some status. You want women. You want money. There is nothing wrong with that, bro. Get in touch with that shit and let that shit motivate you, bro. I want to prove people wrong. I want to make money. I want to have an abundance of women, right? And anyone who tells you, like, oh, like, that's cap, that's the, the capping, bro. Every dude would want that, right? But there's nothing wrong with getting in touch with that basic motivation and just having the discipline to just go through the short-term struggles and pain to overall have the long-term success. Does that make sense? You need to be thinking long-term, and these NoFap urges are testing you because they're trying to transition you from a short-term mindset to a long-term mindset. So you've got to have the discipline. You've got to have the big picture idea to look at and say, you know what, this is short term, this is going to jeopardize my goals and my success, I'm not fucking doing it, bro, and that's period, end of story, every nofap YouTuber you watch, or every person who's had a long streak, they get this, like, like everyone gets urges, boys, like, we all get urges, we all get shit, like, like sometimes, bro, I just really want to pipe, I really just want to go pipe a random girl, right, but I can't, because it's going to get me off what's really important to me, and that's the value, that's what's going to separate you from the pack, this is where you're going to shine because most men can't. Most men will see the short-term pleasure and it's instantly prioritize it over what needs to be done, bro. So I'm just saying, man, I'm kind of ranting, but if you're watching this, bro, and you're going through some shit right now, bro, good. This is the most important time for you to really double down, put your blind builders on, and just get to fucking work and remember your purpose, remember your why, and remember what motivates you, bro. Every time you get an urge, every time something doesn't go your way, every time something just sets you back, more and more time for you to just dig in your heels, get your why, Focus on what you want and just get to work and stay the course, man. Stay the course. Great things take time. Recognize it might take months or years for you to become world class at anything, but just recognize that, man, okay? If y'all like this style of like rant, let me know down below. Maybe y'all not. Maybe we're going to be like, Matt, shut the fuck up. Stop screaming at me, but <laughs> it's just honest, man. If you like this style of content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm out of here. Deuces.